So, good morning students. Today I am going to uh, demonstrate a procedure that is backing. Whatever procedure we have to run in the community or in the home setting, uh, in association with the family health care or family health nursing, we have to use the back technique with the principles. So, almost all the articles we can carry in the bag uh, to run the various uh, nursing procedures, but some of the articles we cannot uh, place in the bag uh, that should be carried in a separate uh, polythene bag, uh, all those articles. For example, I have to carry it in a uh, test tube stand, this could in the uh, place into the bag, uh, BP apparatus, so that could be placed into the bag, etc. Then even weighing machine also you have to carry separate bag. And if after the procedure some of the articles is really needed to uh, boil, like the kidney drain out, so that also you can carry in a separate uh, bag to the, at the end of the procedure. So you can conveniently place your articles in the safe area of the house and you can start the procedure. So students, today I am going to present bag technique. So this is a community health bag. There are many bags, different type of variety of bags. So that is prepared in different way. And today I am going to present the bag technique demonstration with the, this type of bag. The bag has to be carry on the left shoulder okay either you can hold if there is a holding here but it has to be anchored on the left shoulder then back has got different parts outer part is there okay side pockets are there then inner uh, pockets are there okay i'll explain later on that so first is placement of the bag so for that you have to select an area in the house or in the family. That should be somehow above from the normal place. Okay, then that will be convenient to do the procedure. That will make you more convenient to do the procedure. And it should be away from the children, animals, pets, etc. Okay, and it should be clean and the flat surface. Always you should prefer clean and the flat surface surfaces where you can place the bag bag okay and during the procedure you should not have any disturbance in the placement then always you have to place the community bag on a paper okay wherever either in the home or if you place in the lab it has to be placed on the paper that is the principle of that paper. okay so first when you enter into the room you have to greet the family member and you select the area where the bag can be placed. Okay? Make arrangements. Then from with your left hand, you can take the this is outer compartment. We have two pockets here. One is outer pocket and another one is outer outer pocket. The outermost pocket is called as outer outer pocket. So where we place the newspaper. So you can take from your left hand. See that this is folded with the double fold. So this is the opening end and this is the closed end. Okay. So now I have started with the, the double fold. Again I am opening with the double fold. And again I am touching the double fold. And again I am touching the double fold. Okay. Then at the end you can open this paper and you can click like this. Okay. So this is the newspaper we are using to place the bag on it. Okay. So imaginarily this paper can be divided into two sides, right side and the left side. Then again each side you can divide into two areas, upper quadrant and the lower quadrant. So that means this is right upper quadrant and the right lower quadrant. This is left upper quadrant and this is left lower quadrant. You have to place the bag diagonally on the right upper corner. So you can take your bag like this. Then you can place it diagonally on the paper. Okay. So the opening side of the bag should be towards the community nurse to render the services. Okay. So outer uh, the aspect outer pocket will be coming away from the community. Now the first step of procedure is hand wash. Okay, so we have to hand wash before uh, doing the any procedure in the community nurse, in the community health settings or in the family nursing. So first you have to unbuckle the bag. Okay, unbuckle the bag. Then you have to take the 
hand washing articles. So hand washing articles are there in the outer pocket. So we have taken the paper from the outer outer pocket and our hand washing articles is placed in the outer pocket. So for that you need a paper to place the hand washing articles. So you can take the paper and we have one more paper in the for the procedure that you can keep in the uh, right lower quadrant. So all unsterile articles will be kept in the right lower quadrant. Okay. So we'll take the unwashing articles and it has to be placed where you prefer the unwashing. So you can place the paper and you can keep your soap dish with the soap and the towel. So remove your wristy watch and you can go for hand washing. I am not going to demonstrate hand washing. As per the basic foundation, hand washing, medical hand washing, you can do the hand washing. Okay? After hand washing, you can dry your hand and you can uh, that hang the towel if there is any facilities or you can keep it back into the on the paper. Next, you have to open the bag. Okay? See, what is the uh, principles of bag technique? After hand washing, you shouldn't touch the outer part of the bag. You have to touch only in the inner aspect of the bag. So this is the outer flap of the bag, the top. So you have to place inner part of the bag and you have to open it. Okay? You should not touch the outer aspect of the bag. Now this is the inner compartment. The top compartment is a sterile compartment and inner compartment. Then you can open that. Whatever articles required for your procedure, what you are planned, you can take only that article. You should not take other articles. If you are doing two, three procedures, you can take all those articles for the time. Once it is taken, you shouldn't touch again. Because the principle is whenever you have to open the bag, means you are done. Okay? Now my procedure, today's procedure, I would like to do uh, checking BP, monitoring BP. Okay, so I take articles only for monitoring the BP. For that I need a bowl. So this is the left upper quadrant that is sterile area where we keep. Then we need that uh, cotton socks to wipe. Okay? The stethoscope and parts of the stethoscope and after the procedure we have to clean even BP apparatus. Okay? Now I have to take the solution. The solution is required at the end of the procedure we clean the all the articles. Okay? Whatever you have taken. So from that I have take spirit. Okay? I think that is enough for this procedure. After taking all the needed articles from the sterile compartment, you can close the sterile compartment. Okay. Now I have to close the outer flap. Half close means you have to touch inner aspect of the outer flap. Then you have to close it. Okay. So be careful, you shouldn't touch the outer part of the bag once the procedure is started after and wash. Now, suppose if you have another procedure, okay, so we planned for urine sugar, so the unsterile articles will be in the lower compartment. So, always you have to take the sterile articles first, then only you have to open the unsterile articles. Because now if you want to open the bag means again you have to go for the hand washing, that is the principles of bag technique. So, unsterile articles that is needed for a urine sugar, you can make a pack like that, okay, all the articles together and you can keep in the unsterile area, okay, I am just showing that how to take the unsterile articles, that's all. Now, we have said the bag is aptly closed, okay, now we need some articles that is for recording the procedure, okay, we have two side pocket here, you can keep your personal articles and recording that articles in the side pocket. So in that we need a, we have a paper bag to collect the waste. Then we have a, the pen and the paper for recording and pencil for recording, etc. And if other all the articles you have personal articles like uh, in detail, etc. can be kept here. And fetoscope if you are carrying you can keep in the opposite side of the side focus. See I am going I am talking about the bag technique based on the uh, that uh, facility available in this bag. This bag has got two side pockets. Some of the bag we have only one pocket, so where all those uh, recording articles etc. will be kept in the that particular pocket. Okay? So the concept of the bag we have uh, two compartments, the top compartment and the bottom compartment. The top compartment is also called as sterile compartment, that is upper compartment, and lower compartment we keep all unsterile. 
now we have to do the procedure okay so we have four imaginary compartment on the paper and the lower left lower quadrant is the place where we can do the procedure or uh, the procedure such as uh, urine sugar urine albumin you can you have to do in a separate area for that you can make the arrangements in the nearest area according to the direction of the wind you have to arrange and you have to stand according that you can keep a separate paper for that and you can continue the procedure okay so our procedure today is bp monitoring for that we need bp apparatus so actually we have to carry the bp apparatus separately with a polythene bag if you you can keep in the uh, area where we keep the transsterile articles or you can take directly to the patient the thing is whenever you place a bp apparatus we have to place it on the paper okay then if you are doing that uh, uh, as i have already taken an article for the uh, urine sugar we need a test tube stand that was also kept in the uh, unsterile area where we keep all the unsterile articles to do the procedure so once you start the procedure you can take the articles to the uh, procedure area so like that you can take the solutions you can take the bowls and you can take the swabs etc needed for and you can continue the procedure after the procedure after the all the procedure uh, clean all the articles what is required so for example if you used kidney tray for urine sugar you have to wash and you have to clean and you have to come back okay all the same now my procedure is bp monitoring actually there is no need of washing of anything only you have to clean all those things for that you have to go for hand washing okay so i continue hand washing after the procedure after hand washing i'll come back and all those articles what is used have to be cleaned with the spirit swab for that we take spirit bottle then open the spirit bottle and pour the needed spirit into the bowl and we take the cotton balls that would be dipped into the spirit or soaked the cotton with the spirit and you have to clean for example in the bp monitoring procedure there is a separate procedure i will be teach in the next session so you have to clean the stethoscope all the parts of the stethoscope ear piece binaurals tubings diaphragm and the okay then moreover after the at the end of the procedure you have to clean the bp apparatus too because it is used with the home city so you can have the long stroke of the a uh, bp apparatus and you can clean it all those waste you can now uh, put it into the paper bag okay that should be in the long stock you have to replace all the articles now is in that if you have taken a spirit swab or any other solution bottle so you have to clean the neck of that particular bottle also before you complete the procedure because this bottle uh, spirit swab bottle again you have to keep back to the a uh, sterile area of the bag so it's a concept Though it is not completely sterile, according to the back technique procedure and principles, it is we consider this is a sterile. All those things we take from the sterile compartment. So for that you have to keep, uh, you have to clean the neck first, the neck of the bottle. Okay. Then you have to clean the top of the bottle. Okay. Then you have to clean that. Uh, you have to use the long stock of the body of the bottle and you have to keep the bottom of the bottle. And that is. And now it is a clean. Then we have taken one more article that is the bowl. Okay. So at the end of the procedure, you have to clean the bowl also. So you have to keep the inside of the bowl first. Then you have to keep all the outside of the bowl. Now we have cleaned everything. Now I have to open again, open the bag. So you have to touch the inner part of the. Outer flap of the 
bear the animal code. Now you have to replace all those articles which is uh, already claimed with the spirit sword. So the bowl has to be get back up, bottle has to be get back up. Then there are cottons that is we are not used so that can be reused. There is no need of a, a wastage in the community setting, whatever the resources are available maximum we can utilize it. Now all those sterile articles I have kept it back up, now I am going to close. The thing is while closing the top cover you have to touch only the inner aspect of the outer cover. Now uh, I have to replace the articles that is unsterile. After all the procedure, we can clean and we can uh, wash with the running water and clean with the soap and we can uh, uh, wipe off with the spirit swab. All those articles which is used there, that can be Now we have to record the procedure, what we have been done now. So, as it is uh, 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 during the procedure, as it is contaminated, all those things, then after I am watching, you can go for record, or at the end of the pro uh, procedure, you can go for a recording. And you also must have a family folder, and uh, the, that, uh, what all the things you observed during the procedure, the uh, patient condition, etc., also can be recorded at the end of the procedure with a uh, family folder. Usually, each family we get a family folder, and all the de details of the family members will be there in the family folder. So, any condition you have uh, noticed during the procedure of the patient can be recorded, that also can be recorded. And the record paper you can record what is the BP, systolic pressure, and the diastolic pressure. Okay, now we can keep all these recording articles into the side pocket. Family folder after filling, you can keep it back, your bag. Then the paper, what is used for the procedure, it can be, if it is spoiled, you can discard. Okay? Every day you can bring the new papers. Now we have to replace this article that is VT apparatus and the test tube. And completely close the bag and we have to replace the unwashing articles back so take the unwashing articles and you have to put it into the bag so make sure it is dried up if there is a facility you can hang off this towel and whenever you select the unwashing place in the home settings you can select the area where this towel can be hung okay now if the the paper is spoiled of course, you can discard the paper to the waste and you can take the fresh paper. Then you can replace the articles, uh, unwashing articles with the outer pocket of the bag. Now we have to, uh, we have completed all the procedure back taking as per the principles. The last step is you have to take the bag. Uh, That should be kept on the left shoulder. The thing, uh, point is, has to be remembered that uh, the outer outer pocket would be away from you, and we can continue the next procedure. Okay. Now the paper has to be taken as used the side inside. Use the side inside means here the principle is uh, the, uh, the 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 po the portion where we have placed uh, that area will be considered as a contaminated area. So we can take the paper in the middle like this and you can fold the paper back in the uh, single fold or double fold okay like that then again you can place it in the outer outer pocket actually there is no need to take the same paper for the next procedure if you are uh, immediately we are continuing for the next procedure in the next house only you can use that or if you come in the next day you can take a fresh paper and you can continue the back to you Last thing is discarding of the solid waste. This could be hand over to the family member and ask them to burn. Okay. Now, this is about the 
back taking procedures with the principles. Are they understood? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you.